that's when you win it. Next <laughs> <time>. <laughs> well, it'd be a dream come true. I'm Matthew Smith, and we have Tab Everest runner Bonus Notches in the Tab Everest. He's got the race performance for sure, and we know he's got the ability. He's got a great constitution, he's sound, and he's got everything we need to win an Everest. There's a lot of expectation. Everybody in the stable is very excited, and uh, the ownership group are very excited. So, look, it'll be, it'll be a dream come true to win the Everest. There's no doubt about that. I come across racing through my father. We grew up in country Victoria, Wangaratta, and my father was heavily involved in the local race club. On the weekends, you, you're either racing or you're at the footy or maybe cricket, but uh, racing was a big part of our life. I ended up travelling overseas for a year and I ended up uh, in Ireland and uh, I started working for a trainer there, Pat O'Donnell, and I just did some work there, just, just riding a bit of work and strapping and just working the stables and did that for a couple of months. And then there was an opportunity came up to, uh, with Aidan O'Brien, the leading trainer there, and so I went across and started working for him. I wanted to come back to Australia and I was in touch with Bart and, and I got a job in Sydney as his stable foreman. So that was my introduction into full-time racing in Australia. And, uh, I had four years with Bart, they were really good. I enjoyed every minute of it. Bart was big on, you know, worry about the things that you have control over and don't waste time and energy on things that you can't control. So that was good advice and put your energy into the right things, getting the right jockeys, getting your work right, getting the condition of the horses right and then worry about the horse placement after. He always used to say to me, don't put the race before the horse. So well, it was good advice. Um, so yeah, that no, was really good years working there. And, and the things I've learned along the way with Bart stood me in good stead being a trainer on my own right. Hurtle Myrtle gets the upper hand for Ollie. Hurtle Myrtle, too strong, drew away. Hurtle the first group one we had was Hurtle Myrtle and hadn't been training that long. And she was our first really good horse that we had. And, and she won a group one in Melbourne over the carnival. And Fierce Impact came along then. He won three group ones. He was an outstanding racehorse. Really, really tough horse, toughest horse I've trained, I think. And Fierce Impact breaks through today. And then recently, Nimalee, she won a group one at Ramwick. And Nimalee gets a group one today. But you need those headline horses to get exposure for your stable, to get your good owners. A good friend of ours and owner, Kim Harding, she, uh, she identified the pedigree of uh, Sapito and she really wanted to buy the horse, so she sent me to Melbourne to, to purchase him. But he just went for a little bit more than our budget, but we had a good go at him, we were actually underbidder on him. Mel and I just, uh, we sort of thought, look, we'll, we'll try and find the best Sapito we can and uh, um, buy that horse and see what happens. So it's just a lucky plan that came off, I guess. What is not just for Willie Pike and Matt Smith? First. Yeah, I think after he had his second trial, he sort of, he started to identify himself. He was a bit of a lazy horse to start off with in track work and we hadn't asked any questions of him and um, at his second barrier trial he just the, the rider came in and just said look he gives you a pretty good feel this horse like he feels like a, a pretty good horse and um, then he won his first race at Canterbury he was impressive and we threw him in the deep end and he's raced in basically group races since then we're very lucky to have him and he's a much bigger stronger horse this time in than what he was last prep so I think horses that continue to improve with age, he's one of those type of horses, he's just getting better and better and he's probably hitting his peak now. It'll be a dream come true to win the Everest, there's no doubt about that, so let's hope we can get him there and, and get him in the best shape possible and uh, give it a red hot go. Imagine what you could be buying instead.